barbarian. Perhaps he can aid me in my search. <laughs> I seek a traitor to the monk order, a man in orange robes who consorts with demons. He came to the... A man like that would stand out like a pear tree in the snow. If he is thrown in his lot with the demons, your quarry likely hides in Sesheron, along with the rest of the hellish monsters plaguing this land. The veil between life and death has been torn open in those ruins. Our ancestors' spirits haunt the once hallowed halls fighting an endless war. I should warn you to stay away, but I can see the words would be wasted. If you grow tired, the village of Bitter Hearth will welcome you. It is small, but there is a fire to warm your limbs. you to these forsaken halls I am on the hunt for a traitor one of your tribesmen spoke of the spirits haunting this place but I did not expect this kind of chaos it's not always so. this is the price of the world stones destruction my people cannot move on they fight without end without hope of redemption what a terrible fate. It pains me to hear that. But the man I seek hides in these ruins. And neither demons nor ghosts will prevent me from reaching him. Then we have similar aims. Death leaks into the world from the heart of Sesheron. My people are broken, and our ancestors suffer. I will see it end. Help me break. Keep your weapon ready.
balance is preserved. into the realm of death somewhere. Yeah.
death is inevitable. Sacred Mount no longer! Insolent savages! Your spirits will be purged soon enough! chose to follow me across the mountains after all. I am here for that stone. And for your life. Yet you will have neither. For we are beyond your reach. Go home! Pray to your imp. not yet. So you chose... I am here for... And yet you will have... Those demons serve a man named Dravik. He entered your realm with the shard of the World Stone. How can we follow? <laughs> Only the dead may walk these lands. Yet there is a voice we hear. A woman upon the mountain who is not born of Bulkathos. Her presence crosses over. It is like a beacon to the weary. But that is all I know. Not a child of Bulkathos. Tassi, the pilgrim in Bitter Hearth. She's with our chief. We have to hurry. And let the last of my strength ferry you away from here. I only ask one thing. Please, save us from this torment. Mortal. Thank you, warrior. We will not forget this kindness. Want to speak with the chieftain as soon as possible. This way. Chief Kentark, it's Tossi here. Ah. Come on back if you need salvaging. Nothing like the heat of the forge, eh? A shard of the world stone has returned to Aria. By the ink. Yet I cannot be there. Salvaging for Nothing like the heat of the forge, eh? Excuse the urgency, but we are in need of help. My enemy has crossed over into a realm beyond ours, where only spirits may tread. I am told you may know of a way I can follow after him. Only spirits? You speak of the unformed land. I'm sorry, but I am no witch doctor. I am one of sword and shield, not one who guides others between life and death. To even try such a thing would put your soul at risk. I must reclaim the Worldstone Shard. 
risk be damned. Here I was, sent on a pilgrimage, but unable to fulfill my purpose. Then, the spirits send a stranger, who needs the very object I seek without even knowing it. Very well. Let us both embrace our destinies. Not far from here is the Cavern of Echoes. Buried within its unnatural ice is one of the Seven Stones. The Iceburn Tear. Acquire it and bring it to me. With its power, Death's Fangs may lose some of their bite. Friend, I will speak with the Chieftain while you are gone. After what we saw, I cannot let you assault Sesheron alone. When you are ready, I hope my tribe will be fighting beside you. Good luck with your talk, Nevaeh. I will return with the Iceburn Tear shortly. When you leave town, head east until you reach the frozen lake. There, in its deepest recesses, you'll find the Cavern of Echoes. Here, this will help you fight the cold. May Bulkathos give you the strength to conquer the challenges ahead. Be careful in that cavern. The Iceburn Tear is one of the Seven Stones. Do not underestimate it. Survive it. You must acquire the ice burn tear. Harness its power. Lest death swallow you whole. For if you cannot endure the cold of this world, there will be no mercy for you in the next.
the biting cold is unrelenting. Even from here. <laughs> this is the power of the iceberg, dear. Inevitable.
collapse is growing worse.
An unnatural cold. And there's something else. I hear... voices. The balance is give it more time. I must wait. That ability must recharge. Ability must recharge. from over here. Not many have escaped that cavern with their lives, much less holding the tear. If only my people still had the courage you bear. But our wills have become as broken as our home. Still, this is exactly the kind of victory that rouses spirits. Come, let us return to camp. Salvaging for nothing like the heat yeah. of the fall. Thank you for the coin, friend. <laughs> Do you require ma- Have a safe journey, adventurer. Salvaging. Nothing like the heat of the forge, eh? Stone. That cold. Ah, a sacred stone. 
to think I would hold such a See how not even flame can withstand its presence. A lost flame can be reignited all. Do not fret so much. The seven stones are artifacts that my clan has been seeking for ages. While I'm no expert in the spirit world, I know that wielding the tear gives death much less authority over a mortal's life. And how does that help us? Claiming this stone has granted you its boon, and the spirits of this mountain will now be able to sense your presence. Your soul bridges life and death, and it is the dead who will guide you into their realm, not I. To the north, the Ice Clan Khazra have claimed the graveyard of the ancients. Clear out their infestation. Present their war banner to the spirits of old, and perhaps they will grant you permission to walk amongst them. I am going to speak with the chieftain once more. Hopefully, I will meet you in the graveyard with good news. Things are clearer now. There. That should put an end to their profane sacrifices. Now, where is that war banner? This tattered rag must be the banner Tossie spoke of. But what if 
these weapons. They look to have been stolen from various tribes. It is not right for them to remain here. Stone much older than the others. Let us see how Tossie's insight fares. You bring the standard of our enemy as an offering to our spirits. We are defined by more than violence. We who gave everything to fulfill our sworn duty. We who suffered for both Ariat and for clan. Show me there is more to you. Reunite my kin with their weapons so their spirits may find rest. Honor their sacrifice. tribute. A warrior's weapon bears a portion of their soul, and without it, we are incomplete. You honor those who came before you. Now speak. What has brought you to me? My enemy has found a way to travel into the realm of the dead. He seeks to deliver a shard of the world stone into the hands of hell. I must follow after him. But the way is sealed. Our people have protected the heart of the world for generations upon generations. We are tied to this land, even in death. Only by receiving the blessing of the ancients can you walk the path of the dead. Take the signet from this grave, warrior. Travel to the Plains of Blood and return my kinsmen to their rest. Bury them with their weapons and display honor and respect. Only then shall Tor and the others guide you to your foe. The path to the Plains of Blood is open. Aid my people and they shall do the same for you. 
Adventurer. There you are. Mavere. Tossi's ritual worked. I spoke with an ancient chieftain. He wants me to find and aid a spirit named Tor. <laughs> of course, it would be him. Tor is my father. He died five years ago, along with most of our clan. They perished in the Plains of Blood, laying down their lives so that we lived. If you are truly able to speak with his spirit, let him know his daughter strives to carry on his heart, even now. Chieftain Kentark has rallied our tribe. When you move upon Sesheron, we will join you in fighting back for our homeland. My people may have suffered, but even now, we will fulfill our oath to safeguard the World Stone. We spill the blood of demons together, my friend! The smell of rot and corruption lingers in the air. and the children out of here! Wait! You! Who are you? I'm dead, aren't I? I remember the shrieking, the claws. I fell, ensuring the others could escape. Yet I was lucky. The others died not knowing if their sacrifice was worth it. Please save my fallen kin. Let their spirits know our tribe will live on! Hold. Did the children live? Yes. Your people survived and even now fight for this mountain. Your efforts were not in vain.
Thank you, warrior. May your blade never rust, your grip never slip, your heart never falter. Not my time, it seems. Uh, my blade. I, I remember now. The chieftain, he was fighting against the ice demon's leader. We had to leave him behind, or the tribe would have fallen before the monster. My living one, find Tor. Restore his spirit as you did mine. You have. fought to a standstill. Yet I sense something. Movement. Hunger! Endless hunger! Nevaeh lives, and having met you, I can say she carries your spirit. Even now, she rallies your people to fight once more, to prevent the World Stone from falling into the hands of the Burning Hells. Thank you, warrior. You may not understand the pride I have in my daughter, but your words are a blessing I never thought to hear. But what is this about the World Stone? It was shattered. Yes, and its shards plague our land. One of them now hides in the realm of the dead. A place I cannot reach without your blessing. And if I cannot reach it soon, hell will claim the stone for its own. My blessing? You have my blessing a thousand. Yeah!
friend. Friend of the Never. Thank you. Yes. My blessing. Brothers! Sisters! Heed your chieftain one last time! You who is of our spirit, protect the heart of the world at any cost! We go with you unto death! itself our blessing is yours but more than that so too are we will ensure The balance is preserved. That ability must be charged. I must wait. Demons will face my steel. I couldn't reach her in time. Never knew what she was doing. From the moment we step foot on the battlefield, we warriors are prepared to die. 
She fell in battle, protecting her home. Just like her father. It is for that reason we cannot delay any further. Tassi must be deeper in the ruins. Go, reclaim the shard, and ensure Nevers' sacrifice was worth the cost. Are you ready? Yes. This is the place the Shard breached the barrier between life and death. Is it not? Its effects still linger. Where is... She didn't make it. I see. My people are no strangers to death and sacrifice. Even then, moments like this are still hard to bear. Come. We must press forward. Oh. Embrace yourself. This will be painful. Warriors of old, guide this one who will honor your legacy. Walk with them as they pass through the veil into him weary Ukula. You have passed into the unformed land. While I have never experienced it myself, I do know you must not tarry too long. You do not fight alone, warrior. The strength of the mountain is behind you. <laughs> With you. By the call of the ancients, the gate shall open. Go, champion! Lord Skarn, the shard seeker approaches! Abandon your fear for terror. Is in my control. Grab it. Come. Be cleansed of the heaven's blight. I... Nothing will dare us across the day. Embrace your heritage. For soon, this misbegotten world will also be made pure. Nevaeh and Oza will be avenged. Defend yourself! Do not let them hurt you! 
happening? Spirits of this desolate realm, heed my demand and serve the Lord! And so you survive the ancient evil once again. A spirit awash in fury. Come, it is time to return. Soul of the living, cross through the veil of eternity. Let the tear guide you home. Champion, you have fought well, but your battle is not. Not until the heart of creation is returned, or destroyed. The spirits who haunt Sesheron may never be at peace, but we will do all we can to heal the breach. May the ancients guard you on your journey. I would welcome you back, but I recognize that look in your eyes. You're leaving, following after the world stone into the- Diane, any other course would spell doom for our world. As I thought. Do not worry. I will see to Naver's last rites. But as soon as things are settled, I intend to follow after you. Hell! is not a place to be without allies, even for the strongest of us. The pair will be buried alongside her father. Both of them deserve a place. And what of yourselves? Sesheron will never be as it was. My tribe and I may move on soon. Our charge is no longer to this broken mountain to each other. Here, this belonged to Never. Wear it well, and break apart the evil that threatens our world. Show no mercy, for they will offer us none in kind. Farewell, friend.